In this video, I will show you our new electrical winch, which is driven by a BLDC motor on one side. Uh, it's got the uh, signal for the motor, the power for the motor. The other side's got the slip ring. It then connects to the winch power controller. This is the power supply. Uh, this is a 110 to 220 voltage AC. Uh, this is the uh, signal cable for the hand controller. Uh, then the motor power and the motor signal over here. Now on on here what you have is the uh, Ethernet connection. Uh, but you can also use fiber. So right now we have it uh, connected with a patch cord, which is roughly 30 meters, but it could be 10 kilometers, it would be the same. Then we have a um, GFCI breaker, a low voltage, high voltage uh, uh, contactor and an overcurrent contactor as well and this is the main contact for powering the motor so the first thing you need to do is make sure that the emergency stop is not pushed in and then press the button this then energizes this relay and when you see that the LCD is powered up that means you have power to the system now something else that is inside you have the fans on the side one side is intake, the other side is exhaust, and there's a temperature probe inside. When it goes over 40 degrees, the fans will start until it gets back down to 30 degrees. Now let's go to the computer side. On the computer side, you can see the values at the bottom that are updating. Uh, this is coming from the winch uh, power controller. And now what we have to do is click on Enable. With the enable button on, we can now uh, activate the winch. So right now it's set at 12 rotation per minute. So let's go back to our control unit. And you can see now that if I press the button, the drum turns one way, the other way. These two buttons are for the coiler, which is not presently installed. And this here will change the speed. So I've increased the speed. The other thing that's uh, important to know is that the uh, winch has got an electrical brake. That electrical brake only works if the power is on. Back over here to the software. You can increase the RPM over here and it tells you what, what is the RPM right now. And then change over here how many seconds you want the drum to turn when you press the pain button. Now you see that the position of the drum over here is the exact position that you get on the winch. So that gives you position and speed in real time. So even if your uh, winch would be disabled and for some reason someone were to move the drum, if you go back to the uh, software you see the drum moving. Something else we have here is uh, the drums, the turns. So we just enable it, so now it's energized, it's ready and the brake is on. And then if we pay in, you can see the turns move, how many seconds are left. You can stop. You can also reset the turns. And then, um, you can increase the RPM. This will show you the maximum speed. So I'm going to pay in, show the winch, see how fast it is. That's 120 rotation per minute. Uh, let's change that down to two seconds, for instance, and we'll just decrease the speed over here. Something else you can do you can assign a key from your keyboard to control the winch. Let's assign space bar over here and on payout, 
sign L. So now, let's say I have 15 seconds like this, and I click on K, spacebar, L, going to the other side, spacebar. We can also assign buttons from the joystick. So again, click Assign, and I'm going to press a button on my joystick, and assign Payout, and let's show this button over here. So now let's say I'm just going to change that to two seconds and I can now control the winch through the joystick. This uh, over here you have the temperature. This is the actual temperature that's inside the winch power controller. And as mentioned earlier, if it reaches 40, the fans will turn on and it will turn off again when it's reached uh, 30 degrees Celsius. This concludes the video for a winch power control system.